Hello everyone, this is Faith from faithsbizacademy.com and in this video, this is a quick walkthrough with some organizational tips to help you get your Canva projects organized. Okay, so now we are on the Canva homepage and where do you find all of the stuff that you have done on Canva? It will fall under, on the left-hand side menu, look under your projects. Okay, so these are all the things that you have created. Now, what about templates that you have probably purchased or somebody else shared with you? So those would be found under shared with you. Okay, so if you've actually opened up Canva templates that people shared with you or perhaps templates that you've purchased before, these will fall under share with you. Okay, so let's just take a look at this particular one. Now, if you look at this one project, you can click on this, click on this ellipse menu, and there you go. You can actually make a copy, you can download, and there will be options to download um, as different types of file, PNG, PDF. So that is what you want to do with your product. And then, of course, you can continue to click on share or get view only link where you click on view only. You have the link and then you can copy and paste it in a different browser for people to just view your product without making any edits. OK, so these are just little tips for you to help you understand uh, your Canva interface a little better. OK, but what we want to focus on is getting organized. The truth is even my own Canva projects they are not that well organized okay but i'm gonna do my best to share with you some tips okay so firstly i want to strongly recommend that you have a proper naming system when it comes to naming your different projects so recently i ran a summit so all my projects you know i've created different um like facebook banners square banners instagram banners um horizontal banners anything even summit workbooks presentation covers anything that falls on the summit are named summit okay so which is why even when i don't have them in a particular folder it makes it very easy for me to find them because the minute because they all have the word summit okay so one thing to note you want to start by organizing your products, your projects on Canva by having a proper naming system. Okay, this is very personal. It's really up to you to name your products, right? So I would definitely go with the event that you created the projects for or basically the ultimate final name of your project. So for example, if you're creating different things that goes for calendar 2022 or floral calendar 2022 or a camping planner, then you want to have that final name in the different projects okay so using a good name for your project really helps with the organization as well because all you need to do is go to this search field and you will be able to find all the projects with that particular word in the name okay so that's one naming now two we want to make good use of the folders but you have to be very clear that um folders are a big thing on the Canva Pro account. So if I remember correctly, I think you only can have like two or three folders for the free Canva version. So if you want to have an extensive range of different folders that you can have, you need to upgrade to your Canva Pro account, okay? So right here, let me just show you how to actually create a folder. Now, once again, I have clicked on your projects. So what you want to do is click here, click on the plus sign, and add a new folder. So let's say I'm gonna add, I name my folder Summit 2022, and you, if you have team members, you can actually add them, but right now we're just gonna name the folder and create a folder right here. So now under folders, let me just click on show more. There we go, Summit 2022. Now this is empty right now, right? So you can actually upload images, upload external um, videos to your folder, okay? So if, for example, you're doing a research, research for, um, let's say, creating a new printable product, you can actually just add images, right? Um, you go and search for different websites like Creative Fabrica, prettygraphic.com, look, looking for the images, you can actually just upload the images right here. Okay, let me just upload a random image. And there you go, we have an image in my folder. So it makes it really easy for you to actually 
go back to the folder to find the graphics and then use the graphics in this particular project. And of course, if you don't want to have it, go to the ellipse menu and just remove from folder or move to trash. I'm just going to move to trash. Okay, so it's no longer there. Now, I'm going to go back to my projects because now I have so many projects named under Summit, right? And I want to organize them into the same folder. So I keyed in the word Summit and these are the projects related to my Summit with the name Summit in their name, right? So all I need to do, go to this ellipse menu and go to move to folder. And then I'll have all these different, I get search for the folder right here. So there we go, add to folder. And similarly, I can just do that, move to folder again. I can just type in to search for my folder. And there we go. So I'm just adding to my folder. Okay, just do one more right here. Ellipse menu, move to folder. And I can do that, just find it and add to folder. So as you can see, if I am just trying to organize things without already having a folder in place, all I need to do is move to folder, click on create new. So I'm actually creating a new folder. Okay, so let me just write this and then add to the new folder. So I can also have the same design in different folders. Okay, so here I'm going back to my projects looking for my folders right here, show more. So I've got this summit 2022. I've got this folder and right here, another, where's my other folder right here, here. Okay. So sorry, my bad. If you want to have the same product in different folders, you would need to make a copy. So let's say I'm going to make a copy right here clips on this menu, make a copy. And then now this one, I'm going to move it to the other summit folder. Okay. So you're actually moving things around from folder to folder. So if you want to have the same product in different folders for whatever categorization purposes, you would have to make a duplicate. All right. So this one in summit test, I only have one product here, going back to projects, going to the other summit folder right here. Now I've got two. Okay, now I've got two and one you can see is a copy. Of course, I can just rename it as well. Okay, so I can just rename it as a copy here. So that's it. So then when you want to look for things, it makes it so much easier because you can actually just go to projects. And instead of looking through your whole entire list of all the projects that you have, you can just search zoom in into the folder system. Okay, now the other thing I want to share with you about is even within um, the folder itself, you can create a subfolder. So all I need to do is now I'm inside the folder Summit 2022. I'm going to click on plus. I can create a new folder and I'm going to rename it as the Summit subfolder right here. So here we've got this. And just to test it out again, going to my projects, just going to this one, ellipse menu, move to the folder here. I can see the subfolder here. I'm going to click on it and add to folder. So that's it. I want to show you again, going to folders, going to this one. Now I've got one subfolder and two other projects in the same big folder. Okay. So you can create subfolders in one folder. So it's really up to you to just organize you to, to it really depends on how organized you want things to be on Canva. So this is how you can do it. And the other thing is you can also share your folders with someone else. So it could be a team member and then you can just click on that. And then people within your Canva team can also access the folders. All right. So that's it. That's all about folders and getting organized on Canva. So I do hope that you find it helpful and all the best with your organization. I'll see you in the next video.